All right, welcome back to the new episode of the USF Bulls NCAA 14 Dynasty Rebuild. This time we are playing the SMU Mustangs, uh, one of my favorite teams growing up, actually. My favorite team was uh, the Gators, and then it was probably SMU until I became an Iowa fan. Um, I like the Bulls now quite a bit, too, which is Pretty much why I chose them. Uh, SMU was just a team I really liked, though. Uh, however, we are trying to beat them today. We have Mark Johnson visiting. He's not even... We're locked out on him, so that's intriguing. And Prince Beverly. We need a good D-line play, and we do want to pass for quite a bit of yards. I didn't look at the injury report because I didn't think about it, frankly. Um, but that's fine. We will be fine. Um, let's go ahead and get to this coin toss. It's going to be heads. Watch. Told you. Told you. They didn't listen to me. And now they are the one that, well, are in trouble. Let's go ahead and kick off here. And, uh, we are ranked fourth right now, which is intriguing. Um, I didn't anticipate being undefeated to this point, And I certainly didn't anticipate being in the top ten. And there's still a few weeks left, so the question is, do I play every game? Do I sim? Because I, I planned on just simming. I don't really... I, I didn't expect to even get to top five, let alone maybe a shot at the championship. So, I'm in a weird spot. I don't quite know what I want to do. I'm not saying that dude's last name under any circumstance today. We will call him Trey, and only Trey. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wow, that's a, that's the last name. They do run with the QB this time. Um, but if I am, if I, I mean, obviously if I win this game, I have a chance of going up. And I mean, if I can win the national championship in my first year, that would be cool, I guess. But I don't know, maybe I do sim, just, to, I mean, maybe if I win those games and I sim, it's fate. If I don't, it's not fate. It's a tough call right now. And it's probably going to be a last-second decision as Tanner Mordecai throws an incomplete pass. That's the like full name of my dog. I only call him Kai, um, but my uncle had him originally, and he named him Mordecai. Of course, like I said, I only call him Kai. That's interesting. With Tanner Mordecai, who gets sacked this time by Greyer, our boy. Number five, the menace in the middle of the field. And uh, I gotta say, I kinda like my linebackers. This year has been a pleasant surprise in the defensive play, more than anything. And uh, my linebackers play a major part in that, is their QB panics. Mordecai throws a bad pick to Jones. We get no blocks. However, a turnover is a turnover. And we'll take it, Will Jones, dude. Just sitting in there, in the top, uh, middle of the, you know, zone, and gets an easy pick, dude. Didn't even have to move, really. We're going to spin with Petit, dude. That felt elusive. And as I'm talking right now, not even four minutes into the video, I'm starting to realize uh, I didn't grab a water. And I regret that. They're not really running press. So maybe I should not run what I'm running. But we're going to throw it to Brown. Coffrey Brown, dude. The GOAT. I have a little bit more energy right now. Uh, I finally took a break in the recording sessions. So I feel better. I'm in a better mood. Hopefully that is slightly noticeable. Um, do I want to run this? Probably not. It looks like they would stuff it immediately if I ran it. I'm going to throw it to Bati. He's going to get four. We'll take a nice four-yard four-yard gain. Now, I think the challenge was 250 receiving yards to our receivers, specifically, which is bizarre. I kind of hate that. Maybe, well, maybe it was just 250 passing yards. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is I'm going to try and hit the goal, uh, but we're not going to stress it as much as we were in previous episodes. Because frankly, now we have a shot at the chip, potentially, as Bati makes a man miss, 
And uh, I care more about winning. Maybe. I, dude, I'm so on the fence. <laughs> I'm so on the fence. I go back and forth. I, I would like to win at the same time. I really wasn't meant to win year one. USF certainly shouldn't be able to. Ah, bad throw from Gary. This season, he's passing pretty pretty well. Not like insane numbers, but for USF football, that's pretty much franchise record setting, I believe. Probably every category. Weaver beats the press. However, he um he hits he gets hit by an actual an actual airplane. It looked like I think he died. Yeah, I, I actually think he's injured. Not the most ideal thing that could have happened in that situation. Okay, I'm panicking. I ran out of bounds, I think. That was... Uh, I, I didn't know what to do. It was too crowded on that side of the field. I scrambled just kind of trying to buy some time. Didn't work. Did not work. Weaver is okay, so that's good for me. I'm going to throw... And, dude, whoever was supposed to be covering Coffrey Brown and man coverage just got toasted. Absolutely toasted. And SMU is down early. They had the ball and they couldn't, couldn't get anything going. Threw a pick. We capitalized. We are up 7-0. And you know what? We are the fourth-ranked team. We, we deserve. We deserve. To, well, maybe not deserve is the right word. We, we're, we're trying to prove that we deserve it. That's what I'm trying to say. As um, our defense getting them some stat spotlight, I don't really care. I'm more focused on just every new drive. We got Grier. Dude, I was just too far back. Moochie Dixon. Huh. Okay. Some weird names, dude. And I believe most of these, if not all of them, are real players. So that's something. We're going to run up the middle with Grier and absolutely stuff Trey. Trey, questionable second name. I can call him that. Does that have a ring to it? Alright. Ooh! The screen kind of cooked me, but they didn't really run it effectively. And because of that, Cheney is able to get to the quarterback and sack him. I The running back kind of got caught up, maybe. Didn't look good, whatever it was. I take my wrist strap off. Alright. Yeah, I'm such a heavy gamer, dude. I got a wrist strap. Yeah. We're going to cut it to the left. Williams does get any, any room over there. And, uh... We have a, we have an opportunity to kind of get a good good start to this game and try and carry momentum throughout the rest of it. Is Brian Petit, dude, getting some good blocking and he's not doing bad? Three rushes for 14. It's not bad. It's obviously not you know eye grabbing either. I wouldn't say, but that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the clock just run out, dude. These games are pretty long. And frankly, I don't mind letting uh, them be a, just a tad bit shorter, if I can. And uh, this seems like we might have some good blocking. I, I never want to just assume it'll be good blocking, but it was okay block. They seem to get caught up. That's the one problem, dude. Look at 64. He doesn't block anyone there until like I'm getting tackled. And I don't really think there's much I can do about that either, unfortunately. Oh my god, throw the football. I tried throwing it sooner. But I guess I wasn't out of the play action animation. So it hesitated. Um, and we're just kind of methodically getting down the field, which is, you know, more than fine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. As I'm going to throw it to Williams. Oh my god. They are headhunting at SMU, dude. And that's the second wide receiver has been absolutely cracked after he gets the football. Maybe that's my fault for throwing in footballs in dangerous places. But 
Uh, frankly, I don't want to take responsibility, so I'm not going to. As I tried lobbing it, and Gary is just trash. I can't wait to, to get a new QB. And the thing is, right, every offseason, your players go up by about four to six overall, depending on just what the boosts are. Um, so he could get better next season. But we have a freshman QB coming in, in and unless I want to redshirt him, I mean, he's absolutely 100% starting. So it, it really comes down to if I want to redshirt that kid, which I'm tempted for sure. But at the same time, he's going to be starter capable off of it. And he's going to be super fast. He's going to add a whole new dimension to this team. And by the end of his collegiate career, he should be in the high 90s anyways. So is it really a good idea to redshirt him if I don't really need to? Questions, man. Questions. Time will tell. Usually I have my mind made up about these kind of decisions, but it is the first year of the Dynasty. This is kind of where there are the most, you know, decisions to be made. And I don't want to commit to one decision until the time comes and I feel confident in it. So, for now we're stuck with Bohannon. Maybe another season. Uh, and I guess we'll just have to see. Isaiah kind of, kind of killing us, to be honest. This drive has not been as good as the last ones. And of course, it was because I threw a stupid interception that gave them a little bit of momentum. And uh, I don't even know what that was. Oh my god, Williams killed Velton Gardner. And that was brutal to watch. That was actually disgusting. I felt bad having to witness that firsthand. We're going to use Nox here. Interesting pre-play motion. Yep, it's a run to the left. I was ready for it, but I got blocked. As uh, Rasheed... Oh, it's Rasheed Rice? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even notice that. That is so sick. Rasheed Rice, obviously a wide receiver for the Chiefs now in real life. And has actually been phenomenal in his rookie year. At least, in my opinion. That's dope. I don't think uh, we've really got any NFL players on this USF team. At least not current NFL players, to my knowledge. Maybe a backup here or there. Who knows? I suppose it is possible. As Antonio Greyer makes a great play. Third down here. A lot of... Uh, A lot on the line here if we can get a stop. As I don't think it was a throwaway. I think he just had terrible accuracy there. He does miss his pass. We're going to, of course, trying to... Uh, or hoping he's going to miss this, rather. Probably won't. All the kickers seem to be really good. And I swear they shouldn't be. Yeah, Williams back to return again. We are going to take this one out. Hopefully we get that same good blocking that we've noticed in other games. As it really wasn't great, but it was manageable. He does get 28. Okay, I thought the game was going to freeze again. That was going to be disappointing. Ooh, I might streak Carter here. As we're going to throw it to Coffrey Brown, he just... Cooked him on that out route, and we're gonna we're gonna reward him for such a pretty route. I'm gonna run five wide. We do got Weaver on the outside. I think the best play is Chris Carter if it's not underthrown, and it is. Yeah, Gary's out. I, I'm gonna I'm calling it right now. I'm telling you what we're gonna do. We're, Gary's no longer our starter. He can't he can't pass, dude. He can't pass. He is... He's out. And honestly, if he can win us a you know championship, if he can win us a chip, I'll, I'll thank him for his services. He's gone after that, dude. He is straight up gone. Now, 
the thing that kind of sucks about me if I decide to start that rookie, right, is in, in real life, if something like that happened, Gary would probably transfer, right? He's not going to want to sit back up his senior year. It just wouldn't make sense for him. So, I guess we'll run this, whatever. Uh, so, in real life, he'd transfer. In this game, he really can't. And I can't just, like, cut him off the team. Let's go, dude. I can't really just cut him off the team because he'll just pretty much be eliminated from the game. He won't, he won't like, go to another team, to my knowledge. So it just wouldn't make sense to even do it. And who knows, maybe my freshman gets injured and Gary comes back in and can play his senior year. Uh, but I, I think that's what I'm leaning towards doing is starting the freshman, dude. I just, I can't stand watching all these missed passes and these bad... I, I understand that I'm responsible for some of them. Maybe even a lot of them, but Gary does not help, dude. His throw on the run is maybe the worst I've used since I've been playing this game. Because no one wants to go up and get this QB, dude. We get no pressure. And he's going to get first. They're going to kick the field goal, probably. Man, this is a close game, and it really shouldn't be. I don't think we deserve the fourth rank, dude. I know we're undefeated. And I'm surprised, especially sending like two games, maybe three, I can't remember. Especially sending a ranked team in Notre Dame. I can't believe we're undefeated. But even at an undefeated record, we had a B strength of schedule. I'm sure teams like Ohio State and Alabama who have one loss have played way more difficult games than we have. They, they truly do deserve it more. Um, but the game thinks we deserve it for what reason I couldn't tell you and I guess that's fine with me but it is a little bit absurd but then again maybe they love to see Brian Batie out here dude he isn't really getting that many rushing yards per game which is kind of unfortunate I would like to get him more but at the same time, I mean, he's been fairly productive, I would say. We're going to look at his season stats when the season's over, of course. And then kind of see how well he really did. I feel like there's off and on games for him, and it's usually just the blocking if it's an off game. It doesn't really seem like it's ever his fault that he, you know, can't juke. Like, every time he gets an open space, it's almost always a missed man, dude. Like, that one wasn't really an opportunity to make him miss. But as you can see, it's just got stuffed on the outside because the outside runs in this game don't really seem to work, at least not for me. I don't know if there's a trick or something that I can do to make it better, but... Alright, I don't really know what I want to do if it's zone. I guess I could lob it. That's going to be pick. Never mind, Xavier Weaver, great catch. Got in front of the corner. Corner just stayed on him. I didn't really expect it. We got a little lucky there. Yeah, like, Bohannon just... I don't know. He has good games. It's not like he has been terrible for us by any means, but I've been I've been disappointed as of late, and I think that's my problem. As our left tackle gets burnt... Not burnt, but beat. That forces us to scramble and throw away. This time we will run power O to the left, probably. Looks like some less competition over here and like I said just completely blown up there's not it's there's nothing Brian can do there there just isn't it's just <laughs> terrible blocking I feel like we had the advantage there too numbers wise and it just didn't matter um, we're gonna put coffee on the street our wide receivers aren't necessarily bad oh my god he's wide but I can't get it there I know it dude Xavier Weaver comes back Oh my goodness, what a catch. Gary, once again, terrible throw. That time he got bailed out by Xavier's ability to get back to that football. Um, our wide receivers play pretty well, except when they're pressed. They're not a high enough overall that they can beat press, so they just kind of suck at it. As I'm going to truck my way, never mind. The dude just misses. Jaron Mangham, easy touchdown, dude. Found the open space, cut it upfield. That was a great play from our backup running back. 
awesome, dude. That was awesome. Maybe I should invest in getting a power back instead of a speed back for one of these seasons because I've only used speed backs. And maybe getting someone with trucking and brake tackle would be awesome. Just pound it down the defense's uh, throat, I guess. I wanted to use a different word than throat, but I, I didn't. I didn't think that there was an alternative. This time we'll put Yates on a spy. I don't really feel like we need to, but I guess we will. Just to switch it up a little bit here and there. This is going to be a run. We're going to plug the gap, but their running back, uh, Trey, is actually Marshawn Lynch, of course. Why, why wouldn't he be? Um, and my food is about to be done, so after this play, I'm going to go take care of that. I'll probably do two more plays. As we get a sack there, nice. Now it's third down. This could be a nice stop for us. We are up by eight. So being able to force a punt here would be extremely beneficial. And Boyles makes a big hit and makes him fumble, dude. What a play by Boyles. Goes right around the block and absolutely knocks Trey out. That was beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I will be right back for you guys in just a second. All right, I am back on a slightly more full stomach, so that is good. <laughs> I don't really remember what I was talking about before I went and ate, but I can tell you what I am about to talk about is that wide-open touchdown. Xavier Weaver burnt that boy. Easy touchdown, and Gary did throw a nice pass. The thing is... I'm sure some of you that are watching are thinking, well, you've been really harsh on Gary because uh, I've seen this man drop some of the prettiest passes lobbing it deep. And to that I say, that is just QBs in this game. I have used QBs that are worse, and they do the same thing. I've used QBs that are better and do it more consistently. So I promise you that isn't like that shouldn't be a selling factor on keeping him the starter next season. And uh, wow, that QB is making some people miss somehow. And uh, we're, I mean we're up by twenty-one to six now. So I mean fifteen points is a good amount. I I'm certainly not stressing this game, uh, but I mean I guess you don't ever want to get too comfortable. I certainly have. Okay. Wow. Uh, I've certainly blown bigger leads in shorter time frames. Uh, week one, I did it. Um, of course, we did end up winning that game, but nonetheless, we gave up like 20 unanswered points or something. That, that was crazy. Um, Moochie Dixon, dude. God, I would be so mad at my parents if they named, named me Moochie. That is terrible, man. we got to start holding parents more accountable for the names that I see them give kids. I, I, like, I seriously can't believe some of these names that I, I see in real life. Okay, dude, what is happening? Someone tackled. They're at 97 rushing yards, and it's because of plays like that, dude. Um, but yeah, some of these names you, you'll see are terrible, dude. Like, not to, like, diss any any of the names I'm about to list, but I am. I am 100% doing that. Uh, nice tackle there. The name Destiny for a girl is terrible. Please, please don't name your daughter Destiny. It is such a bad name. <laughs> I'm sure if, if someone that knows a Destiny is related to one, friends with one, or is a Destiny, heard that, they'd probably not be uh, a fan. Um, but, I mean, it's the truth. And it's not my fault. That your parents wanted to name you after some random word. That's insane to me. I don't know. That's like if I name my kid like fucking like I don't know. What what what's what's the equivalent? Frying pan? What if I name my kid Frying Pan? That honestly might be better than Destiny. It's maybe not the most comparable. But that's good enough for me. What else what else could there be? Let's see. Um, Destiny. What about, like, if I name my kid Fu uh, Future is Sick? <laughs> the rapper Future is Sick. 
Honestly, if I had to call someone Future, that'd be dope too. All right, Future gets a pass. Well, it's, it's like a bad one, so I can actually get. Um, yeah. What if I like name my kid like Opportunity? Could you imagine? Hey, Opportunity, let's go. Let's get ready for school, bud. Opportunity. I'm not gonna ask you again, Opportunity. Coffrey Brown is about to play fullback. Yeah, that's not uh, good. Never mind, he's, he actually made a good block. Good for my boy. He got, I'm pretty sure, hurdled in the process, but mm, that was cool. Um, we are winning. Uh, we gave, of course, a field goal to them, but that wasn't really a big concern of mine. As we're up by quite a bit, so we're going to panic here. Maybe our tight end will cut it up field. Chris does. Haven't said his name today, as that's his first catch. He's actually been kind of, somehow, he went from being, like, so good for me to kind of disappointing. I don't want to say, oh my god, I misclicked A. The wide receiver was still open. Oh my god. The what? Okay. So that's a pick six. Oh my god. I, I, I'm speechless. The wide receiver was open. Uh, there was apparently a QB spy that just could just catch that anyways. That's not who I was throwing it to intentionally. I was trying to hit X. I hit square. Our tight end was wide. I misclick. It gets picked. But the worst part is I feel like it shouldn't have. There's no way that dude should have been there for that. Oh my goodness. And all of a sudden, I don't feel comfortable. This lead is not that big. Oh man, he was wide, but I took too long to make that decision. Bohannon, dude. His third pick of the day. That one's, I mean, I guess you would say that's more my fault than it was his. I don't really care. I hate him. I don't hate him. I dislike him. That's my starting QB. And, like, what is that? I threw it to R1, and he threw it straight to the middle. Like, that's what I'm talking about. This QB is garbage. He might be the worst QB I've used. And I've used, like, a 60-something overall QB. I'm pretty sure. I watch. Coffrey's going to burn his dude, and it's underthrown. Dude, Gary, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to bring a backup in. I'm actually tempted to bring the backup in right now. That was such a bad throw. That was like three bad throws in a row. Moochie is the returner as well. He got absolutely uh, obliterated there. But he did pick up nine, so... You know. Good for him. We're going to go with Boyles here. Trying to get to him. Luckily, number five broke that tackle. Was that... um? Number five is uh, Griers, right? Am I tripping? It might be. Certainly is a possibility. It is Grier. I said Griers, but you get the gist. As Lil Teco once said, uh, something about gist. It's a song. It's a good song. Go listen to it if you're unfamiliar. We, we get a tackle for loss here, as I'm speaking nonsense. If we can force a punt, that would be awesome. I, of course, have kind of fumbled this lead pretty drastically. It was, what, 21 to 6? Uh, so that's, of course, going to be my fault. Uh, because why wouldn't it be? I should have been better at covering him. I kind of stopped, I guess, because I didn't really think the ball would still be able to be thrown. I thought QB had way too much time. Someone was going to be there. I was wrong. We don't get pressure on this team. For being 4th ranked, this is such a bad team. It is such a bad team. Players break off tackles on us like we're middle schoolers. Our agility in our players is like absolutely terrible except for like Bati. It's the only one that I would say is like maybe even above average. I mean look at that. Can, can you actually explain that to me in terms that make sense? How that just happened? I'm I'm a little I'm a, I'm a little bit upset. I'm keeping my cool for now. Um, 
but I'm, I'm upset. If we can stop this, that would be awesome, because... Thank goodness. Uh, because now I feel we'll takes the lead for us instead of tying. Uh, this just became a very uh, intense game. And now I don't really feel like it should be. I mean, we have more yards than both halves. I guess that's not really that important of a stat, though, to be fair. But I feel like we've outperformed them. It's just been Gary throwing some errant passes. I mean, they're pressing, dude. We have to be able to beat someone here. And a square. He's wide open. Is it Latrell? It is Latrell. Williams burns him. And that's a huge touchdown, dude. 75 yards. And uh, that's going to help Gary stat pad a little bit. Although, that was pretty much all Latrell. I guess Gary got the ball there, but I mean, how could you not? It was wide open by about 10 yards. Uh, what does this do? This makes it a 7-point game. Okay, yeah, that's kind of important. I'm going to wait a second, throw it to Coffrey. He does get it. Okay. Okay. Momentum in this game, I feel like, shifts every... Every play, it can just go crazy in the other direction, which is cool. I like that. I don't like feeling comfortable to the point where I don't have to even feel like I need to play, which, and sometimes it is like that, but like I, earlier I had a 21 to what, six lead and let them get right back in it, take the lead. And then all it takes is one play. And now I feel like I have all the advantage. It is a screen, but of course Tanner panics. Dude, they haven't even thrown for a hundred yards. That's absurd. It's all running, and it's because we can't tackle. Which is good. If they are forced to pass it, you know, in the latter stages of the game, they can't. They just can't. And that's a pick six. Oh my goodness. I didn't even have to switch on. A pick six by Hill. Unbelievable what a play. In the flat, jump the pass. I mean, I, I said it right there. If they had to pass in the latter stages of the game, that's good for us. And it was instantly a pick six. And like I said, the momentum in this game is insane. It took two plays for us to jump. Not like only into the lead, but now be leading by 14 out of nowhere. We were just down by one. Wow, what a... What, and it took what, in less than 30 seconds in game. That's insane. This team, man, I, I tell you what, they are the most emotionally confusing team I've I've had to play. We got Boyles here. We're using. We're gonna go for the sack. QB doesn't even try to throw it. Takes the hit and gets absolutely lit up. Mordecai can't handle the pressure. Okay, it's going to be a screen. Mordecai's going to scramble the other way. He's, he's he's insane. He's the greatest Russian QB you'll ever see, except for maybe Plummer, dude. I hate Plummer. Might be the greatest rushing player you'll ever see, but can he throw a football? No. Which, I mean, as a as a quarterback, kind of, kind of an important task, I would say. I would argue... That's got to be on them. There's no way they're calling me. Yeah. It's going to be first and 15. They're down 14. It is not looking good for the boys in white here. I should maybe put a QB spy. as Their QB, like I said, is more of a threat on the ground than he is anything else. Dude, why does our linebacker... I understand it's zone... And the game is programmed to make him not leave his zone. No one else is going to be there. Just follow the man. There's, if you're playing zone, your job is to follow someone. If you're the only one that's going to be covering them in the next stage. And do I even need to talk about that? What was that? Our defense needs improvements drastically. Our offense needs athleticism more than anything, I think. Yeah, they're going to onside. I should have figured that. 
Our offense needs more athleticism, which it's going to get. It's going to get more athleticism. And uh, we're going to switch the playbook, if I remember. And that's going to be a big deal. As uh, we'll be able to kind of capitalize on having more athletes. And uh, now our job is to run this clock out. Having close games against unranked teams is not going to help us in the rankings either. That's the thing. If we really wanted to uh, solidify our spot as a, as a, you know, as a contender for the chip, we would indeed have to kind of dominate these worst teams a little bit more, I would think. But then again, I can't believe we're ranked as high as we are anyways. So, it's fine, I suppose, for now. Uh, X is kind of wide. Circle is not wide. But I threw it anyways. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of a weird four verts. Should I run, should I run a fake? They're uh, ready for it. Okay. Can I, like, audible to an actual punt? I don't want to call this. So get, they, they know what's going to happen. Okay. Do I actually punt here? I think I should, right? But if I get a first, that's game. I trust my offense. I really don't. I do not trust Gary in the slightest. I'm going to try and scramble with him, I think, here. Uh, I don't really see any, an option. We're going to lob it across the middle. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it is picked. We didn't really have an alternative option once we kind of got in that situation where we were running backwards. It's either throw it away and they get the ball or just throw it probably really bad pass and pray and have like maybe a 1% chance. But it is going to hurt the stat line, but honestly, I don't care about Gary's stat line. Screw this guy. I understand he's given his heart and soul to this team. His heart and soul isn't enough. He needs to be a better player. That's what we're looking for. I'm actually going to use Knox. Our defensive end gets right to Trey there. I, I, I really am questioning whether it's worth it to say his name. I don't think it is, because I don't really get anything out of it other than maybe a chuckle. As, uh, that's a super clutch sack by Hansford. And uh, we're going to guess pass. I don't know if I got it off in time. Ooh. And that is a fourth down sack. Defense comes in clutch. And actually, Hansford alone might have just got us the D-line bonuses. Which is sick. We got Little John here blocking. Ooh. But he, with a nice break tackle, gets two yards. And uh, I obviously could kneel the football, uh, but I don't. I don't know if you're aware of this. That doesn't help me stat pad. A negative four yard run though. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Okay, that was my bad. Sure. It's on balance already. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and. I don't know if we have the passing yards with the wide receivers or whatever. I'm gonna see if I can get it. And uh, the only way to do that is to throw a terrible pass by Gary. He is so bad. Watch them return this, too. <laughs> I, I was ready for it. Gary's done. He's not the starter. He might be for the rest of the season, as I don't think our backup is even close to the overall. And if our backup was even just faster, I would give it a shot. I would definitely give it a shot. Um... But he's, in, he's I'm pretty sure our backup's like not only slower, but significantly slower and significantly worse. Our QB threw five picks, huh? I would say, generally speaking, as a quarterback, you don't want to do that. Um, ours didn't really care. He did his own thing. Um, 
I, I once again I do realize part of this is my fault. We do play UCF next week, which is actually awesome. That's dope. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm I'm on uh, I'm at a crossroads. I'm at a crossroads. What do we want to do? Do we want to play UCF? UCF's kind of like a rival, I would think. I don't know if they actually are considered a rival by the Bulls. I want to say they're in the same conference. Is this not a conference game? Which, for that reason alone, I might just play it. We go up a level. Prince Beverly actually commits to our team, and so does Casey Thomas. Mark Johnson already locked us out. Clark does commit to Illinois. That was actually a pretty good week. We're a coach of the year finalist, which is dope. UCF is nine and one. Is there a game next week? We do play a game at Rutgers. We're number two. How did this? How did this happen? How did we get up to number two? Who lost? We did jump Kansas State, and number one Michigan lost to Iowa. Iowa's not even ranked. USC plays number 21 UCLA, and we play number 22 UCF. I mean, we have a chance to win the chip year one. I, I, That's crazy to me. In fact, at this point, I would say it's a good chance. Uh, we do have two upgrades here. I'm going to go over here. And uh, I'll go ahead and make Pipeline State Tier 3. Wow, uh, this first year has been so not only more successful than I anticipated, but maybe too successful. I wanted more challenge. Yeah, top 25 rivals. Yep, so this is a rivalry game, I guess. I mean, this is pretty crazy. USC beat Colorado, that's cool. Um, I'm assuming we don't have a Heisman finalist. That's not even the right one to click. Where is it? Heisman watch. Yeah, I mean, we should. Championship contenders. Would that be like, would it just show us? Oh, so it shows us in the coming years. Yeah, next year we're not ranked. We're not touted highly. Uh, they think this is a fluke year. It is our job, I guess, to uh, prove them wrong, huh? I do want to look at the depth chart, dude. How fast is the... Am I going to do it? Our backup QB is faster than Bohannon. What is his throwing stats? Significantly worse. Jordan Smith, the freshman red shirt. Or Gary Bohannon, the junior. Oh, this is... We'll give, we'll give Bohannon one more opportunity to prove us that he can be good. Uh, we want to edit the playbook. Thank you, dude. Offense? Yeah, we're running a pro offense. Should we do... We want an option offense, huh? Would that be good? Or air raid? Spread, multiple spread, pro. I have no idea, dude. I'm tempted to do... We'll try the Gators playbook. View playbook. I mean, there's some interesting formations. This might be a good playbook, dude. I, I'm actually... Yeah. Yeah, this is the playbook we want to run. Um, all right, let me, let me save real quick. This takes like no time. Don't worry. I can, I can talk about literally nothing because it's already done. Look at that. So fast. All right, let's do some recruiting and then that'll be the end of this episode. Are we closer on this dude after that? I don't even think it gave us points. <laughs> um, because... We're locked out. We're just going to remove them. It's so sad that that's going to happen, but it, it just kind of has to. We are pretty screwed on him. Now, Tyson Brandt, 
we're actually losing to Southern Miss right now. Uh, we're still going to stay in the cut and probably going to, I would imagine, I don't know why they got so many points. That doesn't really make sense. I, I, we're going to probably win him in free agency, or in the off season, rather. Excuse me. Uh, this tight end, we are super close to getting. Um, I don't even really need to keep putting that many points into him, but I'm going to leave it. I don't really need to put more unless there's a reason or take off either. Now, this guy, I kind of want to make sure I get, it, and his percentage is going by so slow. Brandon Heron, probably just not going to get realistically. I don't care about him. Tim Workman, we have quite a few points to work with. Um, once again, is this a player I need to worry about? I'm going to offer him, I'm going to offer scholarships this week to players that I haven't already. I think that's important. I've already offered one to Clint Mueller, and we'll probably get him this week, which is hopefully very good for us. We haven't offered a scholarship on Tillman. However, we're going to straight up just lose out on him. This week he's going to go to Old Dominion. Let's just remove him. I don't need to waste my time. And we are probably going to get Marcus Collier, which is awesome. Brian Baker, let's go ahead and offer 600 and offer a scholarship. Tom Gary, yeah, let's go ahead and up this to 350 and offer a scholarship. This tackle is like a 65, which is okay. I'm going to remove him. I don't need him. Bo Scott, we're going to offer a scholarship too. Ah, oh, man, I think we're going to get locked out, dude. Colt Clark is this wild that we lost out on. I'm surprised. And Haram Baker, another player that I guess I can bump it up quite a bit. We'll just go 700, actually, and offer a scholarship. Um, Is there anyone that I really feel like I need to include more? Will McKinney's Juco? Oh, my goodness. I guess I can up this. To 620 to hopefully ensure that he joins this week. Michael Johnson, I can definitely up quite a bit. We'll go to 500. These guys just don't matter to me. Isaiah Brown's pretty slow, right? Yeah, he's a slow guy, but could he play middle linebacker? Eventually, I'm saying. How big is he? He's six foot one seventy five, I believe, is way too light. Compared to two thirty four, two thirty eight. Yeah, he's he's just not big enough. Alright. Um I'm going to probably distribute the rest of the points on my own time. Uh, I appreciate you tuning into this episode. Um we are ranked two now, so we're in a very good place to try and win the championship. So I hope you Tune into the next episode because we play UCF, and uh, I'm probably going to send the Rutgers game and leave it up to fate whether we get to play in the championship. So thank you for watching.